This presentation provides an overview of GThink. We'll start with an introduction to what GThink is, then discuss how to install GThink, then what some typical uses are for GThink, and how you might integrate GThink with your operating system and the applications you typically use. And then we'll wrap up. Introduction to GThink. GThink is software for managing a journal. So a journal could be a logbook or a laboratory notebook or a work journal or a quote book, a daily diary, or pretty much whatever you could imagine. The main characteristic for the journals that GThink manages is the chronology, the use of time to organize all of the entries that exist within the journal. In GThink, entries are organized by day, and entries are further organized by the hour and the minute, the time when the entry was created. So what actually is GThink? Well, it is a database. It's something that is always running on your computer, always waiting for you to ask it questions. You enter your thoughts or your notes into a text file that is, we call it a journal. And every night, those notes will be imported into the GThink database automatically. The notes that you make can be written using the Markdown language, so you can include images and links and formatting and other things that make notes more useful. Once the notes are in the GThink database, then you use any web browser to access those notes. Likewise, use whatever editor you want to actually create the notes in the first place. Some software kind of in the ballpark of GThink includes Microsoft OneNote, Evernote, Emacs Org Mode, Yojimbo, DevonThink, Google and Apple Notes, and dozens if not hundreds of other types of software organized around the idea of note tracking or journaling. But ask yourself, how does that software support archival? So for example, how much has the Microsoft Word doc format changed within the last 20 years? Is there really an expectation that these formats are going to be readily readable in the future? So GThink uses basic text files that can actually be printed out using any old printer. And when you print out a backup of your GThink journal, you can subsequently scan that backup and recreate your original database. So this makes it possible to even conceive of a 100 year record of your GThink database using ink and paper. But not all notes are easy to put in a text file. Sometimes you want something visual, like drawings or schematics or diagrams. Sometimes note taking is so spontaneous that it doesn't suit a text file, meetings and lectures. Uh, sometimes you need notes to be extremely flexible. They need to be collaborative. They need to have multiple colors, or maybe you need to be outdoors in the rain. GThink's solution is you write these notes on paper the way that you always have, and you simply attach those notes to the same chronology all of your other text file notes get attached to. Once you learn a standardized page heading, a standard way for handwriting the date and the page number on each page of your handwritten notes, then it's very simple to scan those pages as PDF or as JPEG and simply drop them into GThink. Mobile note taking is so convenient because you always have your phone with you, but one of the drawbacks of mobile is the dependency upon cloud resources, which raises the question, are your notes private? Is the cloud secure? GThink's solution to this is to keep its database offline, to run the GThink database on your computer and not expose it to the cloud but it is so convenient to take notes with mobile devices. So GThink will import notes from Dropbox or Google Drive 
and each night it will import those notes and clean out the cloud files. Think of this as a compromise. No matter where you are on Earth, you can write to your journal, but in order to maximize security, you can only read from your journal when you physically have your computer. GThink supports image attachments, including PDFs and handwritten notes, but also JPEG, GIF, PNGs, and so on. Simply drag and drop them. Attachments can be reordered after they have been imported, and they're stored directly in the database. So without further ado, I introduce GThink, a personal journal that supports long-term archival. Technically, it's a database. It's a chronology of your notes, including handwritten notes and mobile notes and image attachments generally. Installation. We want it to be as simple as possible to install GThink. Start by going to our installation guide at install.gthink.com. This is a step-by-step -step installation process that covers installing Python and installing GThink. The installation process supports Windows and OS X. It should only take a few minutes, and when you're done, you will be using GThink. Typical use. So this is how you keep a text journal. You start off by using a pretty nice text editor. I really like Sublime Text. I've found Microsoft VS Code to be really good. Emacs VI, both are really good. On Android, IOTA is really nice. No matter what you use, there are just a few simple rules to learn. So the first is the way to tell the journal about a day. So you write a day using the year, the month, and the day. And anytime you have a number below 10, you have to write the leading zero. An entry is identified by the time, so that's hours and minutes. And then the same deal with leading zeros. You need to use military time, so 1 p.m. is 1300. Each time you enter the time or the date, just press enter twice. Uh, there needs to be a blank line and that's it. You remember how to write the day and the time and leave a blank line and you can be creating a journal with any text editor. So journal rotation is an automatic process. Every time that it runs, GThink will take whatever comes out of your journal and put it into its database. This is how stuff gets into GThink. And you can manually trigger this with the refresh button in the user interface. Whenever this happens, it'll clear out the entries in your journal. And that way you can start a new day with a blank file. For this to really work, your text editor needs to recognize when the file has been changed. Most text editors do this. One of the most useful features of GThink is the ability to, to search through your notes. So the GThink landing page provides a search box. Just type in whatever word you're looking for and hit enter. And there's also a search button. It's a little magnifying glass in the user interface. The search results will link to the day for the results, which makes it pretty easy to find related notes also. Each morning at 9 a.m., GThink launches a review of the most recent entries. This happens automatically. It's just a good practice to look at your notes from the day before. Integration with applications and the operating system. So GThink is always running. It is a local web service, and there are lots of cool ways to hook into GThink. And when you do this, when you integrate with GThink, you can end up going much faster. There are lots of ways to use web browsers to integrate with GThink. GThink loads in any web browser, but you can also add GThink as a search engine to many web browsers like Firefox and Chrome. This enables you to search your notes directly from your web browser. Some web browsers also support adding websites as applications. I know this works with Chrome, at least, and maybe others. Text editors provide several opportunities for integration. The most immediately useful is creating hotkeys that enter the date and time automatically, so you no longer have to type that. As I noted before, 
it's also good to use a text editor that notices file modifications and automatically reloads those. With an application launcher, you can access GThink with just a few keystrokes. GThink supports importing multiple files during journal rotation, so it's possible to support multiple mobile devices, for example, a phone and a tablet. So with your phone, edit your phone file, and with your tablet, edit your tablet file, and GThink will rotate them normally. In summary, GThink provides lots of ways to integrate. Each one of these is an opportunity to mesh with your daily life and enable you to work faster. Conclusion. GThink is a personal journal that supports long-term archival. Technically, it's a database, a chronology of your notes, including handwritten notes and mobile notes and image attachments generally. The GThink project provides lots of online resources, including a website, extensive documentation, the source code as an open source project, an issue tracker for bugs and other issues, the Python project, a blog for updates, and a chat room. This presentation used lots of online images, which are all linked off of this page. Now that you know more about GThink, go to install.gthink.com to get started. Thanks for watching.